90 odd thousand people have done it now. So we're going to do some of those exercises, add a few more things in. You're going to work your legs, your hips, your bottom and your core. I'll also put some arm work in as well. So it's going to be the whole body. All right. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thank you for coming. The way we roll is I'll do the session first. And I know some of you have to get off to work so then you can go if you need to. But if you want to stay around for the chat, I come back and chat to you all after the session. So any questions about Pilates or injuries you might have and what are suggested exercises, all that kind of stuff, I do at the end of the session. All right. So without further ado, let us begin. So we're going to come and stand on your mat. And let's start with our feet hip width apart. Okay, so in other words, you want the ankles in line with the knees, the knees in line with the hips. And then you're going to place your hands on your hips. You're going to let the weight just go over into that left leg so you can put the right leg forward. Okay, so it's going to be lots of things that challenge your balance. You'll see my balance gets challenged as well. It's all good. All right, so you're going to float this leg up and we're going to start by flexing the foot, pointing the toe. Flex and point. So don't put the leg down, keep it in the air, point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. One more flex and point. Bring that leg down, place it underneath you. Let's go on to the other side. So think of really pulling that belly button in, trying to create space between your hip bones and your ribs. Okay, so hopefully you can see here, you can see that I'm holding in my abdominals. Lift the leg up, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and point for four, three, two, one, and point and come down. Now go back to the first foot. So I'm starting off easy with you guys. We're going to build it up, raise the leg up. Let's circle this time out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place the foot down and change legs. Keep lifting up. So think all the time. We're lifting, holding in here. Raise the foot up. Circle it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and come down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna warm up the legs. I'm just gonna go slightly sideways. Okay, so we still want them hip width apart for now. I want you to think about keeping the back straight. I mentioned in the description that we're not gonna to flex today. So we're gonna do a nice straight back or an extended back. So this is a straight back, hindering from the hips, pulling the belly in, you're just gonna sink down. So you're gonna think about your bottom sitting back into a chair, but I want you to reach your arms all the way up and bring them down. So we're gonna breathe in. Breathe out as you come up. So I'm going to be a little quieter today just because it does get quite hard to breathe and talk. All right, we're going to do four more. Three, two, one. Okay, and then from here, I want you to turn the hands around and I just want you to push the hands back. But at the same time, we're going to try and lift up. Okay, so we're going to push and lift, push and lift, push and lift, and lift. Really good for working the feet. Three, two, one. Let's repeat the knee bends. Good. Two, three. So turn these in all the time. And four, three two one 
coming up, push back. So I want you to think of those arms being quite tense. So you're working the arm muscles as well, lifting up. And four, three, two, one. Third set and bend. Two, three, four, and four, three, two, one, lifting up, push back, push back, push back, and four, three, two, one. Okay, now I want you to take a wider stance. So you're going to be kind of wide like this, parallel. I'm just going to go sideways again, just so you can see what I'm doing. And then what we're going to do is going to take the knees over the toes, still pulling the tummy in and hinging forward. And we're going to hold it here. And we're going to take the arms back and forward, back and forth. So stay in that knee bend. Good. Back and forward. Back and forward. Four. Three. Two. One. You're going to feel your arms working as well. Now hold the arms here. Let's do little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on up. And take the arms out. Okay, we're going to repeat that. So we're going to sink down. Tum is in, hinge forward, bring the arms up. Now reach the arms back. So you're stretching the shoulders and forward. Back and up. Back and up. Back and up. Four. Three. Two. One. Pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come up. Big stretch out. We're going to do that a third time. Here we go. So bending. Tongue is in. Hinge forward. Arms come up. Shoulders drawing down. Reach the arms back. See if we can go back a little bit further. See if you can get your thumbs to touch at the back. Try that. That will really start to feel your shoulders working. And back. And four. Three. Two. One. Coming up. Pulse for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lifting up. Big stretch out. And out to the side. Well done. Okay, so give those legs a little shake out. Okay, and let's go into our next movement. So we are going to be parallel. I'm going to face forward for this one. And we're going to go through a sort of balance challenge as well as a leg challenge. Oh, I'm getting hot ready. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to bend your knees. Keeping your back really straight. Way to think about this is like your back is sliding down a wall okay so we're keeping our back of our head back of our shoulder blades pelvis against that imaginary wall okay arms forward now you're going to lift your heels up so heels stay up now push through the toes and try and straighten your legs and at the same time bring your arms all the way up and then you're going to lower your arms and your heels back down Okay, so that's your movement. We're going to bend the knees, arms forward, shoulders down, back nice and straight. Raise your heels. They don't have to be too high, but I want them off the ground. Feel your toes pressing into the ground. Now push up through those toes. Raise your arms. Keep your shoulders down. Tummies in and arms out to the side. Okay, let's bend. Let's raise those heels, okay, pressing into the toes. We're going slow because it's harder, all right? It also helps you focus on what you're doing. Press into the toes, lift, 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 tummies in, shoulders down, and out. And again, bend. 
Lift your heels, straighten your legs, and lower down. Bend, lift your heels, straighten your legs, and lower down. We're gonna do it two more times. Bend, lift your heels, straighten your legs, and lower, and bend. Lift your heels, straighten your legs, and lower down. Okay, so now we're gonna reverse that. All right, so this one I always think is always harder for everybody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up arms and heels. Now imagine your back is against that wall. Draw your tummy in, keep your heels up, and bend your knees. All right, so it's like you're sliding down the wall. Now your heels and your arms come down and then you're gonna straighten your legs. All right, so we're gonna lift all the way up. Heels are lifted. Slide down that wall, keep your heels up. Good, now lower arms and heels and then straighten. And again, we're gonna lift. Then the knees, turn this in. Maybe a little bit wobbly on the legs, that's fine. Arms and heels down and straighten. We're gonna lift, bend the knees. Keep that tummy pulling in so we're working the core. Lower and straighten. Lift, bend the knees. Lower and straighten. Lift. Bend the knees, lower and straighten and lift. Bend the knees, lower and straighten. Now from here, leave your toes where they are and just bring your heels together. So now you can feel you're working, squeezing the inner thighs. You're also working the bottom quite a lot more with this, okay? So, Let's just draw the shoulders back and down, and we're gonna bend, bringing the arms up. I want them a little bit rounded now, so this is like ballet, but the benefit of this is it really works your arms very well. And straighten, so we're gonna bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Four, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to come down and we're going to pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come up. Let's repeat the knee bends. Bend and up. Two, three. So shoulders down, arms rounded. So you should be able to feel this in your arms and your shoulders, your biceps, particularly. Hopefully across your back as well. Three two, one, and we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Let's repeat, third and final time. Two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. We're gonna pulse for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Okay, so from here, now it's gonna get a little bit more tricky. So remember the sequence we just did with the heel lifts. We're gonna try that in this position. So this is the way we're gonna do it. We're gonna bend the knees, bring the arms up. Okay, so you think knees must be going over toe, so just check your knees aren't pointing in like this. You wanna be open, that's gonna work the glutes and the hips. Okay, now try and keep your heels together and raise them off the ground. Pull your tummy in, think of that wall behind your back. Now start to bring the inner thighs together, start to lift, pulling up through the inner thighs, pulling up with the arms, up, and then lower everything down. Okay, so we're gonna bend the knees, 
keep your heels together and lift them off the ground. So it's like they're super glued at the heels. Tum is pulling in, now pulling up. So pull up through the inner thighs, squeeze your bottom, raise your arms up. That's it. And then lower back down. And again, bend, lift the heels, straighten the legs and lower down. Bend, lift the heels, straighten the legs and lower down. Bend, so nice rounded arms, heels, lift and lower. Bend, heels, straighten and lower and bend, heels, straighten and lower. Now we're going to flip it and do it in reverse. So this is where it's going to go. You're going to lift heels and arms up to this position. Make sure your shoulders are down, tummy muscles in. Now keeping your heels up, we're going to bend our knees, keep our heels together and imagine you're sliding down a wall. So we're nice and upright with those backs. That way you're working your back as well. Now you're gonna lower your heels, lower your arms to the front, and then straighten the legs and the arms come down, okay? So let's try it again. So we're lifting up, arms and heels, shoulders down, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your bottom muscles. Okay, sliding down that wall, keep the heels together now, but bend the knees and send the knees out and back. So you can really feel that bottom working. Lower heels and arms and straighten the legs. And again, we're gonna lift. We're gonna bend. We're gonna lower and straighten. We're going to lift. We're gonna bend. We're gonna lower and straighten. We're gonna lift. We're gonna bend, we're gonna lower and straighten and lift, this is your last one. And bend and lower and straighten. Well done, shake your legs out. If you find your feet are feeling a little bit crampy, just wiggle your toes, that's what I do, just wiggle the toes, the ankles. Okay, you're gonna come into a wide V position now. Okay, so we want the feet on the same level, but turn out, tummies in, and again, a lovely upright spine. Okay, and we know this one, don't we? So we're gonna go out, arms to here, and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. For four, three, two, one, hold it here, we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. And if your knees are okay, see if you can go a little lower this time. Down, and three, and four, and four, three, two, one, hold it here and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come up. I'm hoping you're feeling this because I know I am. Bend and straighten. Third set, bend and straighten. Three, four, and four, three, two, one and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See if you can go a little bit lower down and come up. Well done. Bring those feet in. Give those legs a little shake out. Okay, so we better work the side of the legs now, hadn't we? So we're going to do the sides. So we've done a lot front, back. We've done a little bit of inner thigh going to do the outer thigh. So those of you that are keen on the aesthetic 
of slimming the legs down, getting the work on the inner and outer thighs really important. So we balance out that muscular structure, okay? So you're gonna take your right leg to the side. Let's have hands on the hips. Let's pull that core in. Tuck your bottom under slightly. And then keeping the knee facing forward. So you can feel the lift coming on the side there. We're gonna lift up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna see if you can pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and come down, changing sides. Okay, so let's reset that body, shoulders back, tummy in, we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, and four, three, two, one, and now we're gonna pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Okay, you may be feeling that around the side of the hips. That's all good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet like so, and I want you to take your right leg straight forward, all right, and then out to the side. Okay, but the feet are parallel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend this front knee, you're going to leave this leg where it is. So this is going to work the muscles around the knee, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to bend this leg, keep this leg straight. You're going to come forward, open and back, open and back, open and back. So keep the back leg straight all the time, four, three, two, one, now you're going to lift the heel of the back leg, okay, and we're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come back, repeat. Now, if you want to work harder, you can go wider, yeah, so you're making a wider uh, stance, it's the same idea, and four, four, three, two, one, hold it here, lift that back heel and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down third and final time, bend and back, bend and back, three and four and four, three, two, one, keep that front leg bent, now also bend the back leg and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up, bring that leg back, shake the legs out, we're going to repeat that on the other side, so you decide where or how wide you want to be, so you take the leg in line with the hip forward, and then you take it out to wherever feels okay for you. That leg doesn't move. All right, so I quite like a wide stance because I like the stretch as well. Make sure toes are facing forward. And when we bend this leg, knee is going over that toe. All right, here we go. Bend and back. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one, lift the heels of the back leg and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. Let's repeat. One, two, three, four, and four. Keep the arms going because we're working the shoulders as well. Two, one, hold it here, lift the heel of the back leg and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, and back third and final time, there, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one, lift the heel of that back leg and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back, well done. Shake those legs out, wow. Hopefully you can really feel all that work you're getting all around the legs there, wonderful stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go sideways, we're gonna do a little bit of work to the back, and I want you to keep your leg straight if you can. So, you're gonna have your left foot forward, your right leg back, all right, tummy muscles drawing in. You can switch legs if that's easier to see me. Doesn't really matter. It's one leg behind you. Okay, now lifting up again because we promise no flexing in this class. So we are slightly hinging from the hip on a straight spine and a straight standing leg. Arms are gonna go forward and we're just gonna raise the leg to the back and down. Lift and lower lift and lower, lift and lower, four, three, two, one, and come down, let's switch legs, all right, so very simple, really effective exercise, this one for toning the glutes and the hamstrings, okay, so we've got a straight front leg, We've got tummies pulling in. We've got a slight hinge forward, so the weight's in this leg. And then we take the arms out to help us balance. And we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, one, and come down. Well done. Okay, and I think to finish, as time is nearly up, we better do some stretches. Okay, so find a chair or a countertop, or if you're able to balance, you can just do this without. But you can either have a hand on the chair or on the wall, or you can just have a hand out for balance. You're going to pick your right foot up and take hold of the foot. Okay, we're gonna draw the knee back until we feel the stretch in the front of the leg where we've been working. If you feel you need more or you want more, you can take the arm a little higher and take the leg a little higher. And just go to where feels okay for you. All right, so a nice stretch. Just take a nice deep breath. Good, same leg, bring it forward. I want you to flex the foot, keep your back straight, but flex at the hip and just folding there at the hip so you can feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Hopefully you're getting it somewhere between the calf, back of the knee, the hamstring. Excuse me, sniffling, I've just got a little bit hot now. Tummy's in still, shoulders back and down. Well done. Okay, and then we're swapping legs. So you've got your other leg behind. So again, find a chair or the wall, or you can just stand with the hand out. You're gonna bend that leg, taking hold of the foot, pulling the tummy muscles in, bring the knee towards the other knee, and then start to take it back. All right, you can raise the arm if you're doing a balance. And just go to whatever feels okay. And just take some deep breaths. And bring the leg forward. All right, flexing at the hip. So again, tongue is in, back straight, flexing. Flexing that foot so you're feeling the stretch through the bottom of the foot, the calf muscle, back of the knee a hamstring. Ooh. Ooh. 
Well done, coming up. And then we're just going to do a little stretch sideways. Okay, so this is just a stretch for the legs. Let's just bend this knee and come over. Again, you're hinging, you're not rounding. So you're feeling that stretch down through here. And then over to the other side. Well done, come back to your standing posture. Let us finish here. Take a deep breath in, lift the arms up and exhale out. Inhale up and exhale out. And one more inhale up and exhale out. And thank you very much for joining me today. All right, I'll come and talk to you now, everyone. Well done. I hope you liked that. There's a little change from last week. So do let me know what you thought. I'm just going to see if I can slightly refocus. So hopefully you can see me nice and sharp. Good. So today we did standing exercises. I focused that routine on all the muscles of the legs, the hips, the lower back. We did quite a lot with that as well today. And then particularly in the opening exercises, we were doing a lot with the arms. So you should feel it in your arms and shoulders. And everything you did, because you were having to stand up, was working your core. Uh, so I hope you felt that. I hope it felt good for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Oh, thank you, my dear. Kerman's just brought me in my notes for today. All right. So thank you very, very much, everyone. Sorry, I've got a hair on my mouth. It's really bugging me. Okay. And uh, thank you, to, first of all, to our very early risers today for their donations. So that would be Yvonne Thorpe. Thank you, Yvonne. Lovely to have you here. Ruth Enright, Sue Sambles, Janet Nolan and Susan Eisenbach. Thank you very, very much, ladies, for coming on so early today and donating for this class. It's much appreciated. Um, I do have some very exciting news for everyone um, because I was talking about it a few weeks ago and you think, oh, it's all gone quiet, what's happened? But um, I, I did get a notification from YouTube that as I had reached 100,000 subscribers, they were going to present me with an award. So I got it uh, this week and I've made a little film um, where I open it up and show it for the first time. So if you want to have a look at that, that's going to go out sometime over the weekend, probably Monday, actually. Um, and then next week, um, I'm going to make a note to show you on the live session the award. It's lovely. It's like a big silver plaque. Um, it's very exciting, actually. Um, so I will show you that next week. Um, but on that note, I did want to thank you all for coming today and for supporting me every week with these classes. If you do enjoy the class, before you go today, will you please press the thumbs up button? You know, I can never say that. Will you please press the thumbs up button? Yes, the thumbs up button, because that would really help. And do go ahead. Thank you. I've seen some people have just pressed it. Thank you very much. Um, and do share this with a friend. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because that's kind of how YouTube notice what you're doing by the people who are actually subscribing. Because what that means for me is that you've decided you want to see what content I am producing on a weekly basis. And so for them, they can see what kind of influence I have. And then they give me more help with making my channel better. And that's kind of what I want to do. I know lots of you who've been with me for, from the beginning uh, have seen how much the channel's improved, I hope. If any of you out there haven't, if you go and look at my very first live stream, which was April 2020, 16 months ago now, I can't believe that. Um, sorry, this hair is still here. It's really dug in me. It's in my lip gloss. Um, uh, if you go and look at that, you'll see the difference 
um, from then to now. And all of that difference has come from uh, the donations that I receive here on the channel and on my Kofi page. I have a creator page called a Kofi page, and it's where you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee. And all the money that goes in there basically has not only helped pay my rent, um, but it has helped me get more equipment for the studio. So last year, I was just in a corner of the garage. This year, I'm still in the garage, but we've managed to insulate it. I've got, um, I've got professional lighting. I've got a, a proper camera now, which is this one I'm looking at. So I have a camera now rather than just filming through my laptop. So lots has happened. And I just want to kind of keep on growing for you and giving you what you need. So do let me know what you thought of today. Um, and thank you so far to Helen Lees, who I'm going to say hello to. Hello, Helen. And to Smadar Bar. Hello to you both, who both bought me a coffee. Oh, you both bought me a coffee. And uh, Smadar, do you know that today you have bought me my 5,000th coffee? So, because I was at 4,999 before YouTube today, and now I have 5,000 virtual cups of coffee. That's a lot of coffee to drink, isn't it? Um, but that's all come in over the last year since COVID. And as I say, that really has helped me going, keep going. So thank you so, so, so much, everybody. Um, right. OK, so on to the chat. I'm just going to have a quick look through. Say hellos. Uh, if you've got any questions, fire them over to me. And let me know what you thought of today, because it's slightly different, wasn't it? It was a mix today of uh, my dance background because I love to dance, but I think dance is so good for toning the legs. Uh, so it's sort of a dance, fitness, and Pilates mindset I brought to the session today. So I hope you liked it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to whiz down the chat. Uh, lovely good morning to, oh, there we go, it's whiz. It's funny how it does that. The chat will suddenly jump, and I think no one's written, and then I can see there's hundreds of hundreds of messages from you all thank you ba basically for the donations and the beautiful emojis um i love the emojis ruth has given me a cup of coffee which is fabulous because that's what i have straight after the session ruth says good morning Kerwin, rachel pilates buddies and little boo Boo's in the other room at the moment. She may come in later. Uh, looking forward to cheering up this rainy Friday. Hope you enjoyed your break. Well, thank you very much, Ruth. I'm having a lovely break. Um, I've got to be honest, I have been working, but I've just been doing a few hours a day, which compared to what I normally do, which is about 10 hours, it's been wonderful. And my break is going on until September. So I will be here on Fridays. But in between times, I'm having chill out time. I'm spending lots of time with my dog, Boo, uh, because she's a rescue dog. So she needs a lot of help with her uh, various problems that happen when you get a rescue dog. She has a lot of anxiety. So we're dealing with that. We're helping her with that, which is lovely. So I'm doing that every day, long walks down the beach, that kind of stuff. So it's all good. Uh, thank you very much, Ruth. Um, okay, so Judy Hogarth. Hello, Judy. Lovely to see your name come up. Oh, uh, Wendy here on Pilates Friday. Oh, I love the fact you call it Pilates Friday. I might, I might use that, Judy. That's a great idea. Uh, good to be here. Have missed two Fridays as I'm struggling, but I'm here today. Hooray. All the best, Judy from Dorset. Judy in Dorset, hello. And I'm sending you a big hug. I hope you're okay uh, down there. Um, it's really, really windy here too uh, on the south coast. We're in Brighton, as you know. Very windy. The trees are like that at the moment um, and very cold. Oh, I say very cold. It's 16 degrees, so it's not that cold, is it? But it's a lot colder than it has been. Uh, lovely to see you here, Judy, and I hope you're okay. Carlin, hello to Carlin Holtgren, who comes to us from the States. Lovely to see you here, Carlin. Uh, glad to be back. Excuse me, I'm going to have a little cough. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me, everybody. 
I hope that wasn't too loud on the microphone. Um, okay, good morning to you, Carla. Nice to have you here. Uh, we have a Krista McCann Silva. Hello, Krista. Uh, I don't remember seeing your name. Are you new? Um, it's lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoyed the session today. Uh, Sue Sambal says, good morning from a wet Nottingham, but dance finished. I'm looking forward to Rachel's Pilates. Thanks for keeping us all mentally and physically fit. You're very welcome, Sue. Nice to know you're in Nottingham. Yeah, I think the whole country is a bit wet and windy today, isn't it? And you dance. That's lovely to hear. I think you've told me that before, haven't you? So lovely to hear you're still dancing and doing your Pilates because they're a great uh, complement to each other, actually. I mean, because I basically do Pilates and dance. Um, I might be doing some dance later next year. I don't know yet, but there's some very exciting things happening in the background, which I might tell you about when they come into fruition. Uh, but yeah, I love to dance as well, Sue. So great to hear you're doing your Pilates as well. Good morning to Leslie Matten. Uh, you missed the last session. Uh, you missed the live last week. But looking forward to today. I hope you enjoyed it, Leslie. Do let me know. Uh, hi to Sarah uh, in deepest Scotland. Hello, Sarah, whose uh, address is, whose name is Kawamura Cat. Did I say that right? I don't know. But lovely to see you. And I hope you enjoyed the session from Scotland. Uh, Anna McDougall. Hello, Anna. I hope you enjoyed the session today. Um, very much your kind of thing, because I know you like your bar classes. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we did a lot of that today. Mary Campbell says, good morning. Looking forward to the next four weeks doing your sessions before back to the school desk. Ah, oh, Mary, it's lovely to have you here in the school holidays. And thank you for taking the time out to join me. I'm hoping you're enjoying this session. And before I forget everyone, don't forget that I have created an August playlist for you all. So uh, you can start it at any time. It started on Monday, but it's not date specific. So if you're interested in just kind of getting into Pilates in a kind of daily, as a kind of a daily habit, then this is a really good way to do that. So it's called the August Pilates Retreat playlist. So the idea, it's like a virtual retreat. So wherever you are in the world, you can just find a little space in your house where you can shut the door on everybody or everything, just find a nice quiet space. And every day you can do one of the videos on the playlist. And I've curated them out of many of the films that I've made for you on the channel. And there's a mix. So uh, we start off slowly with all the beginner sessions and a reminder of technique. And then the level increases per week. But the weekend sessions are always light and breezy. So a 20 minute stretch or a 10 minute stretch, that kind of thing. So if you haven't started it, do go and look for that on my playlist. Kerwin will probably put the link up as well because I know he's very good at doing that. Uh, but that's five weeks. Uh, so Mary, that might be something quite good for you when you go back to school as well, um, because I've done it kind of for the run of the school holidays right up to the first day of term, I believe. It's my first day of term, which is Monday, the 6th of September. So I think that's probably the same for a lot of UK people. But there we go. Anyway, I'm wittering on, but do go check out the August playlist. If you want to get into, really get into your fitness this summer, maybe you're not going on holiday or just having a small local holiday in the UK. It's a great thing to do as a kind of break from your normal life. Just hit that button, do, an, do a workout every day, they're no longer than 40 minutes, I think, is the longest one. Actually, there's one that's 50 minutes with a ball, um, but they're all doable. And you know what? You deserve to take care of yourself. So go ahead and check that out. And it's free. I've done all the work for you. You don't have to do anything. You just have to press that button. All right. So going down, good morning to Lily Mars. Hello, Lily. Lovely to have you here. Thanks, as always for uh, all your talk on Twitter. I really appreciate you 
putting the word out to all our Twitter friends because I know quite a lot of them have joined us now. If any of you are on Twitter, I am also on Twitter. I don't do it as much as I ought to, but I'm going to try and get back into all my social media stuff next week because this week I've just been having lots and lots of rest. Uh, they're all good. So lovely to see you here. And Lily says it's bright and sunny on the Costa del Sol today. Nice to hear. Oh, do send some sunshine to us, Lily. Um, okay, Leslie Matin. Oh, thank you, Leslie, for giving me a donation. Thank you so much, Leslie. That is much appreciated. And um, here we go. Uh, just going down. Janet Nolan. Oh, you have donated. Thank you very much indeed. And Janet says, good morning from a warm Damp and muggy, county down. Oh, is it muggy? Well, I hope that means the sun's going to come out for you later, Janet. Good morning to Kieran. Lovely to see you here, Kieran. Good morning to Ranjit. Lovely to have you. And thank you very much, everyone, for saying hello to Kerwin. Um, he does work very hard in the background. You know, you can see his little name come up, but he's he does all my tech he helps me with everything couldn't be without him in many ways but yes there's a little thank you to my lovely husband um okay good morning to irene aldred in milton keynes uh judy buxton hey judy in chiswick sun just trying to come out today oh i hope you get the sunshine that would be super. Good morning to Tiona in France. Lovely to see you. Good morning to Arthur Resnick. Hello, Arthur. I think that your name is new to me as well. Nice to have you here. And Arthur says, all good in a big lockdown at the moment. Thanks for the class tonight. I'm thinking, Arthur, you're in Australia, maybe. Um, because if it's your tonight and it's my morning, you must be on the other side of the world. I hope you're okay. I did read yesterday that uh, there's still, there's. I know there's lockdown in Brisbane, is that right? Lots of places. So I hope you're taking care of yourself. Lovely to have you here. Arthur, if you want to keep busy, go look at that playlist of mine. Um, might be a good way to just get yourself into some kind of routine while things are as they are. But I'm really hoping they get better for you soon. Um, okay, Lily says, is anyone doing the August Pilates retreat? I am, but I haven't necessarily been doing the ones Rachel has scheduled, just trying to get the whole month in. Well, you know what, Lily, the idea of that playlist is you can dip in, dip out. Um, and as I said, if some things are people want more of a challenge, you skip forward. Uh, if there's a, a video that you really enjoyed and thought, oh, I really like that one, that made me feel great, you can always skip back and do it again. The idea is to give you some structure because I know that for a lot of people, me included, I need structure uh, in my life. And part of my structure is my daily exercise. It's just part of my routine, like having my cup of coffee and all that kind of stuff. So that's the idea of the playlist. Now, if you are watching today and you are a senior and you would like to do something, you go to my playlist section and there is a seniors workouts playlist. And in that playlist, I put all things in there that are specific to seniors. Now, I did want to say this, actually, really important point that I want to make, because some people can get offended with the word senior. Please don't be offended, because within the section of society, let's say, I think of over 65 as senior, but I've been told it's over 50, which makes me senior as well. But anyway, within that sector of society, there are a whole gamut of abilities, aren't there? So, you know, I'm 57, I would class myself as athletic, but there could be someone my age who's got two hip replacements, severe arthritis, osteoporosis. You know, there's a whole range of things and there's everything in between. Okay, so in my senior workouts, I try to do those to make them challenging. All the exercises in them are created for the things you need to do more of when you get older, which is coordination, uh, balance, rotation, 
things like that. Um, but they're all gently done, okay? So you can do that. But if you are like me in your 50s or even in your 60s or your 70s and you are fit and able, you don't have to do the seniors. You can go and do any other one that you want. I just have that for people who maybe are a bit more concerned about what to do and how to do it. Okay. But I do get lots of people write to me and they say, oh, I did the senior workout for six months. Now I just do all your normal ones. And that's fantastic. Okay. So that's just my little note for you all. All right. So going down the chat, Corina Perry says, hi, everyone from Mallorca. Hello, Corina. Lovely to see that you're here today. Tony Bryan says, morning. Sorry, I'm late. Hello, Tony. Nice to have you here. Jules says, looking forward to the class, drinking plenty of water as extremely hot here in Javier, Spain. Oh, Javier is a lovely place. Um, I've been to Javier. Um, how nice. Oh, I hope you had a lovely workout, Jewel, and uh, you're enjoying your water now. All right, so going down the chat, I can see you're talking to Lily about Oh, yeah, Judy Buxton. Judy Buxton's doing the August playlist. Now, big, big note for everyone. Judy Buxton did my last playlist nine times. So that's, was that a month? That would be nine months of doing regular sessions. So I think, Judy, you are my current hero, Pilates hero, uh, for the amount that you've done. That's absolutely brilliant. And now you're on the August ones. And as you'll see, they're very different to the previous. So hope you're enjoying the variety. Uh, good morning to Tina Rigby. Lovely to see you, Tina. Uh, thanks for coming, Tina. I know you've been with me uh, for a long, long time. Um, going down, Carolyn Ford. Hello, Caroline. Lovely to see you here. Says, morning, everyone. Kerwin, could you give us the link for the August retreat again? As I'm not sure I'm looking at the right thing. Good. Hopefully, Kerwin did that for you. Got the playlist. And there it is, wonderful. Linda Verney Thompson says, good morning, fabulous. Another standing workout. I'll add that to our daily standing collection combined with the happy hips. These have been a brilliant way to start the day. Oh, I'm so pleased, Linda. And that's a really good combination, you know, to do the standing Pilates with my Pilates for happy hips because there's lots of stretching out of all the muscles around the hips. So that's a really good combination. Well done. Um, Linda says, happy hips is a lovely challenge. I have a question for Rachel, so I'll post it later. Right, I'm going to whiz down to find the questions now. Um, okay, lots of lovely chat from everyone. Uh, oh, Arthur says, thank you, Rachel. The Sydney team did well. I knew you had to be in Australia, Arthur. Well done. So glad the Sydney team are with us. Keep it going out there, guys. Keep your chin up and all that stuff. Good morning to Penelope. Penelope McLeod. I know Penelope. Lovely lady in West London. Hi, Penelope. Balance with the heels up was challenging. Yeah. And you know what? It's such a great exercise, anything with the heels lifted, where you have got to balance, whether you're bending your knees, straightening your knees, lifting your arms, it works all the intrinsic muscles of the foot. So you're not just working your legs and your balance and your brain, because your brain has got to coordinate all of that. But you're also working the feet. Um, very important to work those feet. Okay, so well done, Penelope. Lovely to see you're here today. Um, okay, going down, uh, Eileen or Aileen Harrison, hello, says, great class, found going on the toes a big challenge. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I did lots of challenging work on the toes there. I really like to work my feet because those of you that know, I did have major foot surgery in November last year after ongoing problems and injuries post my dance career. Um, so I had a neuroma and I had all kinds of stuff going on. But as you can see now, I've been did my physio, my feet are fully recovered. And that's why I wanted to share those exercises with you because I know how much they rehabilitated my feet 
So super duper for you. Uh, lovely. So Mary Campbell says, thank you. I did enjoy this session today, spending too much time on the PC and sitting down watching TV and traveling. I know this is the problem with this lockdown business, isn't it? And even though we're kind of semi out of lockdown in the UK, a lot of people are still not going to the workplace, so they're still at home. And most of us, me included, have spent so much more time indoors than we would normally. Um, so that's why I've done a lot of these standing sessions. So if you enjoy the standing sessions, do go and look at my standing workouts playlist because what I do is I add each standing session I do to that playlist. So if you're someone who just said, I just want to do a standing session every day, you can go straight to that and just pick whichever one that you like. Okay. Uh, Ruth Enright says, I really enjoy those exercises today, particularly for the feet, as I sometimes find that they cramp at night these days. Great for your balance too. Exactly. Well done, Ruth. So maybe one to add to your favorites. Uh, Mary Campbell has sent me a donation, a very generous one. Thank you, Mary. And saying you're my number one fan. Well, I love you too. Thank you very much. Uh, Jennifer Coleman says, thanks, Rachel. That was quite a workout for the legs. Yeah, it's a good one for the legs. I can feel it myself today. Yvonne Thorpe says, that was very challenging. My legs will definitely feel that tomorrow. Yeah, and don't forget, everyone, tomorrow be a really good time to do a nice, chilled out, stretchy session. Um, so if you're going to do, you go look at my playlist, see what's on for Saturday, or just click and look for a stretch session on my channel. And you'll see there's nice stretches there for the legs. Some are easy, some are more challenging but good one to stretch out. Anna McDougall says, thank you, Rachel. That was great. Uh, what else have we got? I've got something in my eye now, honestly. Um, Ranjit Aurora uh, donated. Thank you, Ranjit. Says, enjoyed that. Can't stay for the chat now. How many weeks are you on holiday? Well, what I'm doing, Ranjit, and you'll see this later when you listen, is I am doing my YouTube, but I am resting from my regular classes. So I teach live classes via Zoom to people wherever they are in the world. And I have a schedule for that, that you can find via my website, which is rachellawrencepilates.com. Uh, but I'm resting from all that and just doing my YouTube at the moment so I can give my body a bit of a rest. So I am kind of resting for August and I'm back full time in September. So there you go. Karina uh, Perry says, great class. Thank you. From the soles of my feet to my shoulders, I am feeling it. Ice coffee coming. Thank you very much, Karina. Uh, uh, Sandy McClure has donated. Thank you very much indeed for your donation, Sandy. Ranjit, thank you for your donation as well. Uh, much appreciated, Tony Bryans. Thank you for your donation. I can see I've got something under my eye there. There we go. Um, Tony Bryans, thank you for your donation. Tony says, thanks, Rachel. Enjoyed some new moves today, despite crackling knees. Laugh out loud. Also enjoying your August retreat daily. A wonderful stuff. Okay, good. Well, the knees can feel a little bit like that. Sometimes you can feel a bit of, um, I think it's the cartilage in your knees. You can feel a bit of creaking. As long as you're not feeling pain, that's totally okay. All right. Uh, okay, so going down to the bottom, uh, Lily Ma says, yay, congratulations on the award. Thank you, Lily. Carlin Hawkins says, that was great. Love the balance, even when I fell. Love the dance-inspired movement. Oh, that's good, because I'm hoping to do more of that, Carlin. Uh, wonderful stuff. And Ruth says, thank you. Congratulations on the award. Well deserved. Uh, so I'm going to whiz down to the bottom. So I'm going to say, Cherry Marshall, thank you very much indeed for your donation. And from London, thank you for your donation today. Carolyn Fall said, yes, toes were a challenge, but so worth doing on a regular basis. And so well done, Rachel. You've been an inspiration and a lifeline. Oh, thank you, Caroline. I really appreciate that. Lovely stuff. 
Okay. Hi, Rachel. Cheryl here. Great routines. A little wobbly sometimes, but since doing Pilates, I find my posture a lot better. And I do think uh, about my posture now. Well, that's great. And I'm going to say Cheryl, because when I see CH, I always think of a Cheryl I know who comes to my Pilates classes. I don't know if that's you, Cheryl, because um, there's Cheryl and Cheryl, and that I will call a Cheryl with a CH. So I hope I pronounced that correctly for you. Um, Yvonne says, uh, just finished Pilates for painful knees. So found it a really good challenge. Many congratulations on your award. Well deserved. Have a great weekend. Thank you very, very much. Um, okay, so I've got Sangeeta has a question. Sangeeta says, hi, Rachel. Lovely to be live with you again today. Knees not too comfortable with this one. Is that something that will improve with repetition? Love, Sangeeta. So Sangeeta, very important here. If that was uncomfortable on your knees, then my suggestion is not to do it again because... Um, one of those things when you're we're doing pulses and things when we're doing lots of bending on the knees if you have any arthritis in your knees or mild arthritis in your knees and you find it painful to do and most importantly and this is the very important thing Sangeeta make a note in your diary that you did that session today lots of work with the knees and see how your knees feel tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So that's Sunday. If your knees are really sore by Sunday, then maybe I would say it's not one for you. What I would recommend to anybody listening who has painful knees is that you do do my Pilates for painful knees. There are two workouts on the channel for people who have arthritis in the knees or have any kind of knee issues, pre-knee uh, replacement, post knee replacement. One of them is mat work on the floor, which works really well if you are at a point where you can still get down on the floor and you enjoy your mat Pilates and your knees are not so bad you can't get down. Pilates for painful knees. If you cannot get down on the floor, Pilates for very painful knees is all knee exercises seated in a chair so you don't have to bend down or put weight on your knees so do go and have a look at those sangeeta but i would say sangeeta i would call that an amber that's a little warning if that was a bit uncomfortable that may well be that you have some issue in your knee and you need to be really careful so see how you feel by sunday if you're really sore and uncomfortable go and do my Pilates for painful knees video and maybe don't do this one because there was, was a lot of work in the knee joint okay um I hope that helps okay Cherry Marshall says another great standing class which I can share with my old school friends on zoom thank you so much Cherry oh wonderful that's lovely you're still in touch with your school friends super duper Tony Bryan says, really happy for your award, Rachel. Great recognition for your devotion to helping us all stay mobile and healthy. Well done also to Cohen for his support of you. Exactly. He deserves an award too, doesn't he? Okay. All right. I'm going to whiz down to the bottom. Uh, M. McDee, Mary McDonald, well done for your award, Rachel. You are a YouTube star and your classes are excellent. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, really do appreciate that. And I have done you a little message. So do look out for my a little short video coming, uh, which is just a little vlog uh, with me opening my wall. But there's a message to you all in that very special message. Uh, Caroline Ford, thank you for your donation. Yvonne Woodhouse, thank you for your donation as well. Uh, Kathy Pierce, hello, Kathy Pierce, thank you for your donation today. Jane, thank you very much for your donation as well. Um, oh, I can see a new person, Ronnie Waller. Ronnie Waller says, Thank you. Halfway through my London marathon training and love the ballet based work. Sure, it's very good for runners. I've been running four years, started at 65 when I retired. Oh, well done you. Ronnie, that is an inspiration. Thank you for sharing that. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. And 
wow, you're doing your marathon training. So yes, this leg work will be great for you building up strength in your legs. The other thing is really good, uh, Ronnie, for you to do is the ballet base work, you know, where we're very upright, it really does strengthen your core. And the stronger you can get your core, the easier your running will get and the more endurance you will build as well. So that is fantastic. And thank you so much for sharing. Is that an inspiration, everyone? That's absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, so I'm sorry if I've missed everyone, but I'm going to have to sign off because it's that time now. I just want to say thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you for your continued support of the channel. I will be here again next week, same time, 10 o'clock on Friday. Uh, so I will see you then. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please press the like button. Do share with your friends and do subscribe. And have a lovely, lovely day, everyone. All right, take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.